Alright, so uh, welcome back all. We are now going to do a lovely little tour through Dir al Bahri, which we are overlooking right now. Um, and this is, I was so excited to, to see this. Um, so this is a really great vantage point from which to start. We are actually in the Theban necropolis in the area of Setmat or the place of truth. Um, and we'll talk about this later on. I will do a video on this later um, because it's the, the village itself is not correct. Um, so we'll, we'll have some words <laughs> about that. But anyway, um, what we're looking at right now are three temples um, that are cut into the cliff face here on the west bank of the um, uh, river. And this dates all the way to the 11th dynasty, the first dynasty of the Middle Kingdom. It's the, the one right here in the foreground with the pyramid on top. That is the um, mortuary temple of Nebhepet Re Mentu Hotep II. Beside that is the mortuary temple of Tatmose III. Um, which today is almost entirely disappeared, um, and um, the and we'll talk about like the the foundations and stuff of the Nebhepet Re Temple, and then the one that is most well preserved today is the Temple of Hatshepsut, which is on the the uh, the one in the far background there. Um, so yeah, it's it's very cool to see all of this stuff. There should be some like. What we call saf tombs cut into. Ooh, look at. Oh, ooh, come on. Let, let, let's let's take a moment and uh, take in the sunset. Oh my goodness! Do you see how beautiful this is? Like this, the rock is on fire. Oh, that is so beautiful. Thank you, Assassin's Creed, for giving us such a delightful vision. Oh, how stunning is this? Are you guys seeing this with me? <laughs> wow. Alright, this is going to be... Right here is going to be the... Uh, one of these is going to be... Thumbnail. I'll have to do like a frame by frame to see which is the best. Be in front of it like so. Maybe. Looking over. Yeah, maybe... Yeah, maybe this can work something like that well we'll see frame by frame <laughs> anyway as i sit here planning ahead um where was i going like wh where did i even leave off talking um oh right so there should be some tombs that are cut into the rock face on the far background there um i like how they did the landscape here it's it's uh, for the most part accurate um the there is a, a ledge and i'm gonna share share with you like i did with the other ones some photos of what i have but there is meant to be a ledge that goes straight across. The, um, the the necropolis that they have here does not actually extend up as far as this is going. That's actually supposed to be up all all the way up there. Should be a a um a small little little neighborhood of of it's kind of like a the hotel <laughs> that everyone stayed in. Um, but I'll talk about all of that when we get to set mat if I can remember to talk about all of that stuff. Um, but the, yeah, there should be a ledge that goes all the way across this mountain. There should be a, um, a hollow in the rock above the temple of Hatshepsut. And maybe we can do some uh, rock climbing over there just to see what's going on. Um, the Temple of Hatshepsut is also aligned with the 8th pylon at the Karnak Temple, so it looks like we are aligned quite well with the Temple of Karnak. Uh, and I'm going to do a whole video on that as well. Now, as I always say, the map and the landscape is very squished, so um, the, uh, the Karnak and Luxor temples are, are a little bit too close together. We're missing quite a lot of the Karnak Temple. They really abbreviated that temple quite a lot. Um, the Luxor Temple I haven't actually gone into yet, so it would be kind of like a, a reaction as well as a, a telling you what's going on. Uh, and the reason I haven't... Whew, sorry, I have a fly on my microphone. 
The reason I haven't really gone into there is because it's a, um, a fortification held by Romans, just like the Temple of Hatshepsut and, and Hatmosi the Third and Nebhebet Ray. These are also held by Romans, so it's not so much to explore um, as it is a space where you're supposed to just, what, like, hunt for treasure and just kill people, which I'm totally fine with, obviously, if you've seen my other videos. <laughs> um, so what else can I say? Um, yes, there is a harbor here. I like that they included the harbor and they included a very accurate shape, accurately shaped harbor, which is wonderful. Um, and I'm... One of my disappointments here is not seeing the causeway of the Nebhepet Re Mentuhotep temple, which should have been lined with really awesome statues. Uh, of Nebhebet Ray, and I'll put up a statue of uh, what he would have looked like. Um, what else? Um, Thutmose III reigned after Hatshepsut. He was the first female king. Yes, she was queen, but a uh, king is, of course, the highest rank that you could be. As a queen, um, you were limited in your power, as you were always associated with a king. And so by erasing this uh, identity as a, just a queen and um, acquiring the identity of a king, um, Hatshepsut was really, you know, taking power uh, all onto herself. Um, she did co-reign with Tatmose the Third for a time before she um, was the sole ruler, or, or I guess they she wasn't always just. I guess they were always kind of like co-rulers, but. Um, he was always off on some kind of military campaign. Um, it wasn't... Uh, so after she died, he, be, uh, Tadmose III became pharaoh. Um, and it wasn't until later in his reign that he started to erase her from her own monuments. Um, she built an obelisk that was erected over there at the Karnak Temple Complex. And he built around it. Instead of just erasing everything from there or dismantling the obelisk itself and rebuilding his own, he built stuff around it. And this was very lucky for us because it allowed for the obelisk to be very well preserved. And I'll put a picture of that as well. You guys can see what it looks like. So now we have this, this beautifully preserved obelisk. <laughs> and um, Hatshepsut is a household name. Um... And, uh, you know, Tatmose III, of course, wanted his name to be the household name, but hilariously enough, as I found out from my Roman history students last uh, semester, um, Hatshepsut is the one who is most known by the, you know, the, the, uh, the population of today than Tatmose III, because, you know, she was original in what she did. Um, and so, you know, that's a big middle finger to her nephew, <laughs> who tried to eliminate her from uh, cultural memory. So anyway, shall we dive down into this pile of hay and then fight our way through the temples? I think we should. Now we're just gonna, there's going to be a lot of complaining. Uh, if you watched my stream with Sasa, you have probably already encountered some of the stuff that we'll complain about. <laughs> um, and, um, but we're going to go through here, hopefully with a, a bit more education rather than entertainment, but hopefully, well, I mean, obviously I, I hope that this will be entertaining for you. Um, but also, uh, it is meant to be more like, this is how it actually was. They did a good job, but <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and, and dive in literally. Woo! Splash! Okay. Uh, right. So, I think we should go over there and climb the rock just to see what they've got um, in terms of uh, the, the secret uh, hidey hole <laughs> um, that should be up here. And there were some pretty entertaining images uh, that were painted onto the, the rock inside. Um, and I, I'm just gonna... I have to rewatch all of my stuff so that I can remember um, 
Um, so that I can remember exactly what it was. Um... That I... I, I... I always have trouble killing vultures for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> How weird is that? So are they supposed to have a treasure somewhere around here? Will I, uh... Send up the bird to find out. Alright, well there's treasures over there. Maybe that's where their treasure is. Around these parts. Vultures, what have you got lying around here? Huh, well... I guess we'll find out, right? So I killed that one guy. Uh, so let's come over here. Um, so yeah, in this this little uh, hideaway, there were some uh, graffiti images that were painted, and um, they were. Papo, I must leave home. It saddens me that it has come to this, but I must follow my heart. Amun himself spoke to me as I slept, told me I had a greater purpose to be a medjai protector of the people. The sword. Of the pharaohs, I have taken grandfather's weapon. Do not try to find me. Oh, sorry, my friend. <sighs> Alas. You have, uh... Oh, hello, snakes. Gotcha. You're all mine now. Um... Why can't I... claim this? I crouch? What? Is it meant to do something? Can I pick up this little guy here? Oh, maybe I already took the treasure before. It, well, in which case, why would it still be here? Ah, uh, this is really annoying. Well, now I'm frustrated. I'm gonna have to look up what's going on with Um, but anyway, the graffiti is, uh, rather naughty. We have, uh, uh, it could possibly be a, a joke, but there does look like something is back there in the cliff. There's a little ledge thing. You know what? I'm really annoyed. I want to find out why this is going to open up search, so I'll have to click this. Okay, well, you know, that actually doesn't matter because we're here to learn things, <laughs> potentially. <laughs> uh, right, so let's climb these up here. We need to get all the way over there. Not uh, Romans finding us, so... I'm gonna do uh, some s side winding here. But yeah, so the image that I keep not talking about, apparently, <laughs> it's uh, sexual in nature and it's like a joke. And some people have suggested that maybe it's meant to represent Hatshepsut having an affair with her uh, with her, her chief uh, architect, um, who was also the, uh, the teacher of her, her daughter. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I mean that's that's all a very romantic idea, but there's there's no proof of this. There's there's quite a lot of actually um, uh, fiction, fan fiction, maybe we can call it, <laughs> of um, episode having an affair with her architect, um, like a little gouge in there. But we don't have real evidence suggesting this, so let's not make it into something that we don't have evidence for. I mean, it's it's a fun story, of course, but you know the the problem with it is people might read this little, as I like to call it, fan fiction, uh, thinking that it's actually uh, something that occurred, and you know that's the problem with with studying ancient Egypt when you're not really interested in learning. Realities, or if you're like, if you don't want to believe what the experts are saying, if you want to just automatically sanitize history or something like that, then you're going to miss out on a lot of much more interesting um, facts. I mean, 
whether or not Hetchups had, had an affair is really not that Um, it really isn't. Because we have so much more interesting stuff than all of that. And if you do want to hear about affairs, <laughs> I can tell you all about it when we get to the, um, whatever I'm going to say about set mods. Uh, and I think I, I mentioned last time that I am working on a um, an Ancient Lives on the Nile episode about set mod. Um, and there's actually a guy who did go around having affairs with every man's wife. His name was Pa Neb, but he wasn't a very good guy. Um, but certainly very entertaining. And we know all of this because we have actual evidence, textual evidence, talking about it. So, you know, that's that's the stuff that's fun. When you actually have the cool, uh, the, the paper trail <laughs> uh, of this of this kind of thing. So really it should be around here somewhere. We have these nice little grooves in here. They were baiting me. <laughs> oh man. See if we can get him to come down. Because uh, we got some ledge space up here. Yeah, I guess I. I guess we were just baited, guys. Unless there's something up there. Let's go. Whoops, 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 whoops. Well, that was a wonderful use of my tools. I pressed, uh, I, my, my finger got caught on the trigger. <laughs> That's what happened there. Um, ah, oh, bummer. Yeah, see, we're just being, we're being baited with, uh, stuff in the rock. Ah. And then overlook this lovely space here. We're looking over the top of the temple of Hatshepsut. Uh, okay, so that's cool. I already killed most of the, the important guys in here. Um, right, so it is a uh, terraced structure, and it was actually um, inspired by the temple of Nebhepet Rehmen to Hotep over this way, beyond that temple there. Uh, and then Tutmose III built his mortuary temple in the same uh, spirit of uh, Hatshepsut, which was, again, um, inspired by the temple of Nebhepet Rehmen to Hotep. Um, there are several statues that had been erected around here, at, um, of Hatshepsut, and I can show you a couple of them. Um, and the reason why we have these statues is because, again, Tatmose the Third thought that he was erasing her memory when, in fact, he was preserving it. And he buried a bunch of her temples in the pit near this temple. Uh, sorry, he he buried a bunch of her statues in a pit near this temple, and that's why we have so many of them today. Um, she did have sphinx statues of herself erected along this this causeway leading from her temple to the harbor there. Um, so we have some of those, which is really cool. Let me see if I can... get this guy. Uh, let me... Oh, I think he's too far away. Blessed. Alright. Oh, he's coming closer, though. Can I get ya? Can I... Itcha? No, cannot. Blessed. Well. I just want to look at the temple, man. That's all. Damn. Uh. Bra, all right. 
Oh. Hey, what? <laughs> Bye! Catch you later, my dude. Alright, where's this other guy that I killed? I put him. Where did I put him down? Aha, here you are. Have you anything to loot? Nah, you've nothing to loot. I did reclaim my arrows, so that's good news. Alright, um... Got some. Shit. If we got some guys here, I can get you. I will beat him. Who did I? Ah, uh, no, he's gonna light the beacon on me. Damn it. Okay. I forgot they have beacons. I forgot how this game works. <laughs> Seriously? Come on. Where's uh Damn it! Alright. Alright, looks like we're gonna be uh killing people quite a lot today. Uh in my rage! I'm pressing buttons here, come on. Come on. Go. All right, fantastic. Friends, the the lucky tie. Wait a minute. Right, so they're done. That? That? Nubis Shadow is new. Oh man, guys. Find me. Anybody up here? Hey, Hello, friend. How are you? Oh, blast. Oh, this guy is tough. Okay. <laughs> I told you it's been a while.
<clears throat> oh. oh, I missed my shot there. Okay. Yes, I did. Confirm this kill. Gotcha! Boom! See you later! Okay. We've got a. Oh, what is this? Ooh, look at that. That's some nice stuff. That cool blade. Whoa! I like it. I forgot how fun this game can be once you <laughs> once you get into it again. Uh, okay. Alright, we've got some people down here. I'm just trying to like look at stuff, y'all. Can I just do that? Why don't we come down here to men, men to uh, men to Hotep's thing? We're gonna do a, we're gonna dive in again. Down you go. Oof. All right. Okay. So um, I'm really curious to see if they have actually cut into the rock in this part. Um, so the interesting thing here is they they put the pyramid on top. Uh, this has been a Huge debate among Egyptologists for a long time. It was assumed that um, the top of this platform was uh, a pyramid structure, that a pyramid structure was built on this. Um, but now it's actually thought, um, or it's it's being um, argued that it was not actually a pyramid, but it was just this flat-topped platform on which this pyramid is currently um, situated. And so, can I even get to the top of this pyramid? I can, that's, that's great, okay. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's conjecture whether this was a pyramid or not a pyramid, and they're thinking that it wasn't um, because we don't really have any other evidence that points to the fact a pyramid would have been here. Um, so they're thinking that it actually had a construction similar to the one that's just right behind me here with the flat topped um, um, thing, uh, flat topped platform. Um, but this area that the pyramid is on was also the uh, location of the tombs, uh, tomb chapels of six of Menhepet Ray, Menhepet Ray's, Nebhepet Ray's, um, uh, queens. So, I wonder if they have anything like that in here. Ooh, we do have, it looks like, some, um, decoration. So, let's go down there and take a look at that, because... Um, Hatshepsut's temple, as we will see, is not decorated at all. Um, at least not properly. So let's go see what they have over here. It looks like they just have, like, Ptolemaic- ptolemaic -y stuff. Um, and yeah, I would say that I'm correct in that. It's just kind of like copy and paste, um, architecture that they've been using. Um, and I'm wondering if it did have something to do with Time, um, they didn't have enough time because, you know, there's there's just there's a lot missing from Thebes here, um, and I don't think very much of it would qualify for a discovery tour. <laughs> uh, the pyramids definitely do, but that's about the extent of it. Uh, I mean, sorry, no, 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 that's not what I meant. <laughs> Um, Bow before the most beauteous! She is my wife! <laughs> Have you seen her? For I am the great Ramesses! Carve my name upon the temples that shall live forever! Where is this guy? Bring me bread Where is this guy? Beer. I can kill you with a look! I turn my gaze upon the fields and they burn! Protection from the curse! The cows and they I have amulets! Drink it! The moon is dead! Scarabs is this like a... Of she -lions. Shells from crocodile eggs to bury in your heart. The creeping dread, the stomach sickness. Who is speaking? The barrels have cast their gaze upon this you. This guy? Are you talking? This amulet of the all-seeing eye will protect you. 
see an exclamation mark. Where is that? Okay, I thought there was like some kind of a thing in here. Um, it would have been cool if they did kind of come up with a statue of Mentuhotep. Um, this isn't it. This is a uh, Horus. Um, is there anything actually in here? Or is this just a mass of architecture just kind of hanging out for the sake of being here? Uh, let me see. Let me go up this uh, terrace. Maybe there's something more up here. Oh, is this where the guy is talking? What have we got? We've got a horse. We stand banner. in the hall of two truths. Offer our heart for judgment that we might be found Macheru, true of voice. The wearer of heart turns his burning eyes upon us, places the feather on these scales. These scales tip, and we are found wanting. But Amit, the huh. devourer, she whose teeth rip the flesh from the life giver, chews upon the gristle of the soul's nub. She <laughs> sends her nub. servant, the great royal wife. The shriveler, beauty's end, and she will claim us all. Okay. Is there a purpose for you being here? Or are you just saying words? I like how uh, richly dressed people are here in Thebes. Um, I, that's one thing I thought was really cool in this game is that they, they really um show regional differences in the way people dress um, especially this is clear in Alexandria uh, versus Memphis if you compare the two um, oh it looks like we've got some clear story I'm uh, sorry not clear story windows but we've got some um, of the the window screens that I talked about last time so that's cool um, let's see we have a lot of um, braziers in here. Got a lot of Horus statues. Probably would not have been in here. Um, you know, they, they, they did uh, put a lot of imagination into this temple, and the reason for that is because all we have are basically the foundations. Um, sorry, if you hear that meowing, that's my third cat. She... I still... <clears throat> I'm waiting to get paid enough to take her to the vet so that she can get spayed and uh, not be uncomfortable anymore. Um, it's important to spay your pets, neuter and spay, especially for female pets because they can... Uh, oh, she just attempted to jump onto the table and she missed. <laughs> so now she's meowing for that. Um, but they can actually get breast cancer. Um, animals that you know female animals can actually get this uh so it looks like oh, that's some nice get up you've got here man why are you walking like that? oh it's because you're old and you're having some difficulty Maybe get you some walking sticks oh hello tom you please please don't get too much in the way i don't know why he's lurching around here yes Hi! She's meowing into the microphone, guys. Saying hello. <laughs> um, okay, so I guess this is just here for fun. Um, it is cool to have it, sure. Uh, I wish it had a purpose. I wish they had chapels, the chapels with the wives, because that's really impressive art. It's um, The art is what's called the... Um, oh, my thing, my thing. Uh, the Theban provincial art style, and uh, I'll put some images of that as well. With the chapel of, uh, for instance, his wife or daughter, or whoever she was, uh, Amsit. Um, he was really cool. Um, what else? Uh, I like that we have this little garden space here because they did incorporate a lot of greenery in temple. I really wish that they put some of the the Theban provincial style art on here. That would have been really, really excellent. Uh, it was a very specific style of art that disappeared after the uh, 11th dynasty. 
Um, and it's, uh, you, you find it during the, uh, first intermediate period. Um, and, uh, the reason for this is because the, the royal or the, the, um, professionally trained artists of Memphis were cut off from the people of Thebes, and this is because the, um, the country was split in half. Uh, there was disunity in Egypt, and so the uh, different art styles emerged because they no longer had like the the Memphite artists doing stuff for people in Thebes. Uh, so let's see here. Which one should we visit first? How about we visit Tutmose the Third first, just because that up so it's, I'll have more to say about it. Um, Tutmose the Third is really quite Nothing. Um, left of it? No. Oh, I should have assassinated him. I forgot I'm an assassin. And I can easily assassinate if I so choose. Oh, blessed. Oh, wait, this guy's gonna set himself on fire. That's fantastic. Right. Um, Kill this guy, thank you. Hey now, eat this. Oh, that's gonna set on fire. Um, Die, yeah, okay, down you go, pal. Whoops, hit the wrong guy. <laughs> Ooh, why is my bow glowing? Cool. Setting up shop again. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I guess there's not really anything to talk about here because this is all conjecture. Um, I do like this, uh, tapestry. I like these little closets that you can hide in for a minute. Oh, a toilet! Oh, I do love seeing toilets. Uh, ancient toilets are, are one of my favorite things. Um, they actually did kind of look like this, yeah, for sure. Um, I can hopefully show you a toilet. <laughs> if I, if, when I rewatch this, I'll try to find all of the things. Um, but yeah, we do have actual toilets. Toilet seats that, uh, look like toilet seats we use today. So yeah, you know, it's, a uh, there's some nice, uh, cultural anthropology for you. Comparative anthropology? A anthropology? Anthropology. Where we all, uh, all of us in the world from the dawn of time had a very specific way of building a toilet seat. We are all agreed upon <laughs> what the best format of it. Quite entertaining. Are these, are these supposed to be candles? Or... Um, yeah, so there's not really much to say about this tomb, uh, temple, sorry. They decorated it in the same way that they decorate Ptolemaic temples in this game, um, which would not have been accurate for this hey, temple. Wait. Got a guy up here. I love how he just stands there waiting. Yep. Full clip. Awesome. All right. Hard to do something educational when you have to kill everybody all the time. Ah. So that brazier is no longer lit. Alarm! Alarm! Wondering. Finished. Actual. If they are going to relight it, that's possible. Take a look. Letting tired? Huh. 
wonder if there's oh you can relight it ah that's funny all right not thank you dear thanks for playing this game with me giving me a nice little uh, what's going on over here Are these a bunch of mummified animals oh we've got a mummified antelope how sweet is that and another mummified antelope um or maybe they're not mummified maybe they're just made of straw and they're using them as targets but we've got some mummies here Oh, they're using the mummies as targets as well. Oh, well, these aren't Roman soldiers after all. Um, so they weren't uh, really buying into Egyptian religion. Um, but let's take a look at these very lovely coffins. I mean, we've seen these coffins quite a lot, but you know, these are these are your your typical uh, late period coffins where everything was just everywhere, all over the place. <laughs> um, the art on them is very well done, very beautiful. Yes, these would have been extremely expensive coffins back in the day. Quite attractive. Good job. Here we don't have any mummies inside. Um, oh, we've got a lot of treasure I can loot. But, um... Yeah, it's, uh... My ammo is full. Yeah, Tatmose the Third's temple is, um... Not accurate, I would say, but... I they didn't really have much to go on and you know they didn't have a lot of time so they kind of did just copy and paste things around here and that's okay um oops let's take a look at this oh look at how cool this table is with these inverted legs but it's uh the texture on here is a little bit modern isn't it, it looks like it's made of glass <laughs> uh so you know that that could be better i think but Unless it's meant to be like alabaster or something, or I don't know what. Okay, so we're we're getting we're getting places here. Um, beds on the floor, I guess. Oh, I like the paneling in the back. That's actually um, the paneling of chairs. Uh, it reminds me of uh, the chair of Tatmose the Fourth's daughter. Uh, bless what is Sitamun? Um, and if I can remember that, I can show that to you too, but that, that reminds me of her chair. Um, anything else in here of interest? Got some tables. Uh, yeah, this looks like just a general fort, but just placed in the temple of Tatmose the Third. I imagine that they, they didn't really know what all to put around, which is fine. What did I do that for? Um, but, you know, at least they were able to, to put the temples where they should be, and they put all three of them, which is really cool, instead of just sticking with um, Hatshepsut. So I think that's really nice that they managed to put all three of them. Um, I think that's just really cool. Is this guy going to not even notice me? <laughs> Wait a second. You to uh, uh, bio. Finally got to use chain assassinate. Uh, I forgot I had that skill. Um. All right, so let me just see if there's any more treasure I'm supposed to find. Oh, there's still some in here. Let me go get that. This side. I guess I should have come in on this too. Um. What else? Eh, it's not really good loot though, is it? Boring. But that's okay, it's because I'm already at a high level. So doesn't really- Oh, look at this cool basket. Nice baskets. Ooh, and there's a- Get him. When you think you've killed all of these hey, guys, they- 
Fill up some. You are dead. I think that would be you. Stop. I I'll come over to you. Don't worry, I'm getting there. Don't worry about it. You'll get your chance to be destroyed in just a moment. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got some uh, statues here, which would not have been the statue that it should be. Would have been um, had Shepsut as a sphinx, not Horus as a sphinx. I don't know if I've ever seen a Horus statue before. <laughs> um, okay then. Um, so the obelisks here are quite interesting. They're not really like the obelisks that we've seen oh. elsewhere in the game. Um, let's take a look at the cartouches. Are they head Shepsuts? No, they're not. Bummer. Hoping they would be. Um, but anyway, there's a really cool, um, there's a really cool um, relief carving on the Harris's um, side part here, and I'll show you a line drawing of that. It would have been here on this side of how the obelisk was um, brought. To Thebes from Aswan by boat. That's how things were moved along. They were ferried by uh, by way of the river, which makes sense. It was a major, you know, transportation route. But yeah, this whole space would have been lined with a statue. We do have a couple of Sphinx statues. Five. And the entire wall, uh, all of the walls would have been decorated with um, relief carving and it gives the illusion Copy. that it was carved with relief carvings decorated with relief carvings from what they have here but they just you know the whole copy and paste thing uh, instead of putting any of Hatshepsut's actual stuff on here cool on this um one of the things that's that's missing is the narrative of her um, divine birth and coronation. Um, I'll put up, and uh, there's uh, even her, her mom, wh whose name was Ahmose. Um, there's a little depiction of her mom uh, pregnant, little a little mini baby bump, <laughs> um, and then it shows Hatshepsut being um, molded out of clay by the god Khnum. And we'll talk about Khnum when we visit um, um, Elephantine. It is down here in Yebu Gnome. Um, to talk about Elephantine, probably, likely. Um, I haven't gone into Wasit yet. Wasit means um, it's the ancient name for Thebes. Uh, and. Valley of the King. So Thebes itself is here. It's Thebes, no. So technically, this would have been Wasit. Um, and we'll talk about you know this space when we get to when I talk about Karnak. Um, <clears throat> here's Setmat. Uh, and there's yeah, there's a lot of space that I haven't yet visited in the Thebes Gnome or the Yebu Gnome. But when we get to, uh, I'll do a whole thing on Elephantine, Abu. They say. Yeah. Um, Abu or Yebu mean elephant. <laughs> uh, and we've got a lot of fast travel things to look at. So yeah, I'm going to be spending quite a lot of time here in Thebes. Um, I guess, you know, it'd be the, the education thing would be a lot of side quests and, and locating stuff for that reason. Um, anyway, let's get back to temple. So, and the other, there's another major, uh, topic that was 
carved in relief Very on her temple. Fingers. That was her voyage, not her specific, like her personal voyage, but a voyage from Egypt to a land called Punt. We don't know exactly where Punt was, um, but it seems. What are these? What are these? So creepy. Are these like torsos? What is that? That is so creepy. Look at that. Okay, so we got his torso. Are they just like decayed? <laughs> it's so creepy looking. What is that? I don't like it. Um, and so Punt might actually be in what is now modern day Etruria. We've got the mummies here. People have been mummified. Um, oh, we've got this guy who's carrying bodies. Let's see where he puts this one. Probably, probably gonna put it over here in this area, and then I'll kill him. Ha ha ha! Here he comes! Here he comes! We're waiting, my friend! And so the, um, the journey to Punt is a unique, uh, image in Egyptian art. So I'll show you some of the images of what that was. And so what they did was they went down to the land called Punt. Um, oh, there's a big guy over there. And they traded uh, incense, and they traded gold for incense and baboons. <laughs> and it's really cool also because it shows a very distinctive uh, houses uh, that the punts, the puntites lived in. And they lived on these houses that were erected on poles and you accessed the front door by way of a ladder. <laughs> um, I, just, I really like them houses. So I'll show those. And it would have been, uh, it would have decorated the, um, the south wall of this temple because they also liked to arrange things geographically on temples. So since Punt was in the south, they put the depiction of Punt on the south wall of it. It would have been on this terrace, actually, probably. If I remember correctly, it could be wrong. It's been a while since I visited. Um, but yeah, I think it would have been on this side. Um, what appears to be missing hey, are some shrines. <laughs> Um nowhere you can run to nowhere to run <laughs> mine now Bayek, where are you shooting at, my friend? Um What was I saying? I totally forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There would have been shrines, one dedicated to Hathor, and I think another one to Anubis. I want to say Anubis. Uh, on that side over there, Hathor had a shrine over here. Um, and I'll put pictures of that as well. I'll put a whole, like, plan of temple for you. So you can see what's missing and, <laughs> um, and where it would have been had it been included. No idea that I'm here. So yeah, unfortunately there's literally no decoration by this sorry, I shouldn't say literally no. Literally right here. <laughs> um but the decoration that should be here is not here. Sadly. It would have been so cool to have had that. I mean it would have been a lot of work for them to render all of that, but at the same time. How glorious would it have been, you know, to to actually have, um, because right now what they have are uh, reproductions in this area here because the originals had been removed 
Um, and so they left like plaster copies in place. And it's just, it would have been so awesome to have seen this uh, as it would have been in its heyday entirely. But we, we do luckily have these Osirid statues of Hatshepsut. Uh, they're looking kind of globular <laughs> in their form. Um, I'll show you what Hatshepsut's Osirid statues looked like. And by Osirid, we mean um, uh, a figure that is wrapped, uh, it's usually a king. Um, so a Osirid statue means that it's a human figure that's wrapped, that looks like it's wrapped like a mummy uh, with its arms free to hold the crook and flail as she's holding here. Um, she's also holding an Ankh sign and a Waz scepter, um, which is something that Ta actually held a lot. And she's wearing the double crown of Upper and Lower Egypt, and she's I've uh, got the false beard here. Well, let's climb up to one of her statues. Take a closer look. Um, and yeah, her face is rendered pretty poorly. <laughs> which is so funny. Um, but I like that they, they do have them painted. Which again, is uh, uh, not something that they've been doing throughout this game. So luckily they, they've done that here. Um, they decorated the crown, like uh, Nefertiti's crown. Uh, that's not how this should be. Um, so they, they've got a combination of the double crown with Nefertiti's crown, probably because Hatshepsut was uh, female, so they wanted to give her uh, something that's uh, a really uh, memorable uh, as a female king, perhaps? I don't know, maybe? She's wearing a false beard, so that's pretty good. Um, but, yeah, she she didn't look exactly like this. <laughs> it's fine. Can I do a leap attack on this guy? Where are you? Oh, he's not coming, not coming around. Come back so I can leap attack you. Well, whatever. I've got some treasure to loot in here somewhere. We've got um, some treasures that you would have found in King Tut's tomb. <laughs> back and get my stuff. Thank you. Um, we've got a bed that's just randomly thrown in here. We've got uh, a chariot with a canopic shrine, I guess, thrown in here. Um, <laughs> okay. That's alright. And yeah, we've got this very Ptolemaic um, format here. These are what we call screen walls. I mean, they're they're stone, but uh, they they didn't do this until Ptolemaic times when they had these this um, these half walls erected between the the columns or in this case pillars. Pillars are usually what we give uh, the term to uh, rectilinear col columns. So this isn't the correct format of Hatshepsut's temple. Um, but the inner court is open to the sky, yes. Good. Uh, let me just locate this last uh, treasure. We can clear this area. I guess it's over there. And you see here. And they did make this kind of confusing because there's like an up and down staircase. Uh, Places for people to hide in. Um, a lot of just really elaborate rooms. Uh, oh, let me replant it. Oh, I'm full. Okay, good. Um, and just like really elaborately arranged uh, interior space, which really wasn't that elaborate. Um, you have these like little jail cells as well. We have to go down some. Uh, is there anybody in here? Nope. I think I got you all when I came in here last time. 
Um, yeah, so we have some pretty elaborate spaces inside here. We need to go down someplace. We need a down staircase. I probably have to go back in. Um, and it, this is extremely elaborate. But, uh, yeah, they, they missed uh, some chapels, unfortunately. Aha! Found it! Here's this area. Oh, look at all that XP. How far am I along? Okay. Um. Right, so, I mean, I guess uh, that's the extent of Hedshepsut's temple. But let's come all the way down here to the harbor just to get a nice look at it from its distance. Oh, that's so beautiful. You know, looking across at the east bank there and at nighttime just brings me back to when I was staying in Luxor uh, for, a f uh, for a few weeks in 2019 and just uh, going over to the, to the east bank, because I was staying on the west bank, and just going over to the east bank by ferry uh, when it was all lit up and, oh man, that's really nice. Just, you know, spending some time with some people enjoying the, the time and um, nice breeze and uh, it was really cool once when the electricity went out in the whole town <laughs> in the whole city <laughs> um, and you know just like just solid darkness while you're on the Nile on the ferry it was so cool that's what this reminds me of nice nice memory Oh, I missed! Oh. Alright. I'm gonna do this the old-fashioned way, my friends. Down you go. See ya. Sayonara. Sucker. Oh. Hi. Bye. <laughs> oh, they stopped the boat just for me. Oh, you're gonna miss it. You're gonna miss it. Oh, well, there you go then. Okay, so, yeah, we'll take a nice little gander at Hatshepsut's temple from this, from this distance. Um... There she is. Let's uh, send up Senu. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Stunning. Really, really, really lovely. Now they have a light show over there. Uh, I'll put up a picture of Derobahri lit up at nighttime when I went there in October 2019 for the um, performance of Aida, <laughs> the opera. It was really cool. All right. All right, so I'll end this educational video here. Hope you enjoyed our journey through Dar al-Bahri, and I'll see you next time.